guys, welcome back to the channel and video two of the Makuni carburetor rebuild and install. And welcome to freezing cold Georgia. I'm bundled up today because it is snowing outside. It's icing up here and it's freezing. I don't have any heat in the shop right now, so bear with. But I just pulled off the intake as you guys saw earlier and I got a intake seal kit from Hard Dive. I'll put the link for this kit below. Um, when you get these kits for these things, there's a couple uh, tips you guys want to keep an eye out for is there's two different kinds of seals. Um, back in the day, Harley had a, a Screaming Eagle intake version of these and there was they were like a little bit beefier or the flanges were a little bit different. So over the years, Harley has two different intake seals that go in here for your flanges. Um, and the only really difference between both of them, one is like a little bit fatter and one is thinner obviously and the smaller one i believe was for the screaming eagle setup back in the day or different uh intakes they had over the years so just keep an eye out for that usually what we use is the fat ones if you have like a stock harley this is a harley mccuney intake so this was like a mccuney kit that was made for a harley evo motor to bolt on so i'm going to get these off and i'm going to get these new ones oiled up and get this flange seal back up put back on get the new ones on and then we will put this thing back together. All right, that pretty much sums it up. We got everything back on, the cover back on, we got the fuel line on, and we're gonna go on the other side. That's all buttoned up. I didn't show that side because it really depends on what kind of coil setup you have and motor mount. There's a lot of variations on how that side can go, but the gist of it is if you have a, a coil mount or motor mount combination or whatever, shifter, anything other, you're gonna have to take that side off to get to your um, flange bolts on your intake manifolds. So this side is just stock set up, so it just has the coil um, top motor mount. So that came off and then we tightened those up. Bolted everything else back on. Let's get this thing lowered down, get on the ground, let's fire it up. All right, she's down. So one of the major issues this bike had was it would leak fuel 
all the time with the fuel pickcock on, which is very common for McCarries. So fuel is on. Let's see if that is fixed on this other side. I ran a new overflow tube down here, which comes in the kit when you get it, and it just runs down under the bike. So I replaced that hose, it was all rotted, and it looks like there is no fuel. All right, keep in mind when you go to fire this thing up for the first time, you will need a screwdriver. So your idle mixture on a Makuni is, let's see if I can get you on here. So idle mixture on a Makuni carburetor is right here. It is the little twist uh, piece attached to a hose. And Makuni carburetors take a minute to warm up. So a lot of people, it's very common just to reach down, give it a twist high on the idle, get it fired up once it warms down. Once it warms up completely, reach down and just kind of set it where you want it. Uh, the other thing is the accelerator pump. Uh, that piece is right here, right there. So normally you want to adjust that to where it's almost in contact with your metal push rod for your accelerator pump. Um, McCunies are bad. They need a lot of fuel on throttle twist because they will, you know, kind of spit through the carburetor and backfire a lot through the carburetor if they're lean. So the next thing you need is your idle mixture screw, which is this brass piece we replaced right down here. You'll adjust that. Usually it's going to be anywhere from a turn and a half to two turns out. Power on, choke on, fuel on, twist on the throttle. guys that's it as you saw it fired up perfectly I had to adjust the carburetor a little bit and it is way too cold outside right now to go for a test ride I normally would but it's also wet and kind of snowing here so um, thank you guys for watching stay tuned for the next video that wraps up the carburetor series Makuni carburetor series on this FXR stay tuned for a couple more um, videos on this FXR when we go through a little more fine-tune it just to make sure everything is good and it's ready to blast on the highway as always, please like and subscribe. Thank you guys for watching. We'll see you in the next one.